Hi, Kylie here. Welcome to my channel. So I'm excited because today I'm reacting to my very first food video. I've had a lot of requests for me to go find a video all on Barbecue Nation, which is supposed to be one of the best chain restaurants in all of India. So I'm reacting to Barbecue Nation Unlimited Indian Food Foreigner Reaction by the channel Travel Vlog 4. And the woman's name is Ivan. This looks really good, so let's get to it. Barbecue Nation is an all-you-can-eat restaurant chain in India. As a foreigner, I have never been here before. Barbecue Nation doesn't just have barbecued food like the name would suggest. That's what I quickly found out. There's a really nice buffet for the main courses and the desserts. You do get a barbecue on your table for the starters, and as a foreigner, it is definitely worth telling them to adjust to mild spice level. I heard Indian people raving about the food at Barbecue Nation so many times, and now it's finally time to try same stuff I had when I was I in India, I think. I breakfast for this and I'm super hungry. Let's get started with the vegetarian starters. And I've heard the pineapple is really good, so I'm very excited to try that. They just brought the barbecue. Oh my goodness. Yes. That looks like, spicy. They also came with the baby potatoes. Can't wait to try those either because people said it's really good. From what I've heard is that at Barbecue Nation, the entrees and the desserts are the best part. So you fill up on the entrees, nibble on the main courses, and then fill up on, completely on the dessert. Mm. <clears throat> yeah. A little spicy. Okay, that's seriously spicy. They asked me beforehand, do you want mild spices, medium or really spicy? And I said medium. <coughs> I think I'm gonna have to switch to mild. Whoa, that's really spicy. So how do you like your food? No spice, mild, medium, or very spicy. I personally am not a big spice fan. I can do very mild spice, but their version of mild spice in India is probably closer to a medium spice in the US. <sighs> It is super yummy though. Let's move on to the paneer. Paneer is literally one of my favorite things ever. They don't call me paneer princess for nothing. Paneer oh. princess. Ooh, that paneer is really tender and juicy. Mm. Holy moly, I would come back just for the paneer. The paneer is seriously amazing. It's not as spicy as the pineapple either. I think with the pineapple, the chef might have like been a little bit too excited. <laughs> what is this? Crispy corn fried. Oh, okay, crispy corn fried. Chickpeas? Can you, can you maybe bring me some of the baby potatoes? Yeah, yeah. thank you. Some green chicken? Yes, please. Thank you. Oh, and I can put it on here? Chutney, okay. is that an Indian oh, I'm loving this place already. dish or sauce? Wasn't your chutney kind of like a good jam kind of? This stew is daika sole and this stew is veg kebab. Veg kebab is corn methi roll. Yeah. And this one daika sole is pudding, curd, bread and... Oh, okay, okay. Nice. Thank you. Going to try the veg kebab and the dahi kebab. I can understand why people really, really like the starters here. This looks absolutely amazing. All of it. Ooh. Mm. The crispy outside is so light, really good. Let me try the veg kebab. That's with quite a lot of potatoes. I prefer the dahi kebab. That one's really fluffy, airy, freshly made. You can really taste that they use fresh oil. Trying the Barbecue Nation signature dish, the Cajun spicy baby potato. Look at that. Wait, is it a potato? Cajun. So, is it common to find Cajun dishes or Cajun flavors in India? That's interesting. I think so. That's less spicy? No, no, you can leave this. It's okay. I mean, just for the, for the other dishes. Thank you. <laughs> I just asked them to adjust the spice level because I don't want to die. <laughs> Everything looks amazing. That crispy corn is also yummy. Mm-mm-mm. That corn reminds me of the corn on a stick I would find at Christmas markets 
in Germany, okay. in Nuremberg. I understand why, why so people delicious. go mad for this. The potato is super crispy on the outside, soft on the inside, properly cooked. What is that sauce? And the like? sauce is mild. It's a Cajun sauce. Creamy. Mm. I'm so enjoying the food here. Wow. Mm -mm -mm. Can't believe I didn't go earlier. Why did you guys keep this secret from me? In Brazilian steakhouses, they have the same concept. They have like a little flag or something. And if you had the flag on green, they'll keep on bringing you more and more meat. Every kind of meat you could imagine. And you have to finally say, no thank you, and just put up the red flag. Because if not, they'll just keep on bringing more and more food. Checking out okay. the main courses. So we got veg man chow soup over here. Not my favorite, but it's nice. And then we have onion mushroom noodles and veg in hot that looks garlic good. sauce. Then we have aloo bindi masala, so potato ladyfingers uh, curry, makmali kofta curry. Masala, I've heard that kofta before. Is, but masala, it looks delicious. what is that? And then we have nane mune sabjiong kamela. Well, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. <laughs> looks like something that, oh, vegetables and cauliflower. Some yogurt or cream this. sauce and in there. Over here we have paneer jahangiri, then dal bukhara over there and some steamed rice it all looks super freshly made yeah yes. what is that white stuff veg dum biryani definitely having that this is the salad bar over here oh pineapple salad fatouche salad and then this is it seems like there's a lot of pineapples so i'm imagining that tropical fruits are pretty big in india or at least when they're in season am i right please drop that in the comments it's the non-veg part so this is Murshika Dabi Chicken Dum Biryani, basically biryani with chicken. And this is Mutton Biryani. Oh, they have two kinds of biryani, that's awesome. Then we have Sichuan Wings on this side. Where are the wings? Oh, here. Okay, so Sichuan Wings. And then Sichuan? we have Such as Chinese? Mur chicken go mango fish curry over here more the tropical fruit Ooh. the mangoes yummy for the non-veg people egg curry this one and methi gosht what is that do most vegetarians in india not eat eggs i'm just wondering if you know, please drop that in the comments. I'm just trying to understand a little bit. I don't know what gosh is. Is it goat? Interesting. Chicken noodles, clear soup. I thought mutton was goat. So this is what I got for the main course. I got some curd rice over here, the paneer, some uh, onion rice? noodles, biryani, of course, and some it's rice like and, or something. and some raita over here. I didn't get too much for the main course because those desserts look so yummy and I wanted to save plenty of tummy space for that obviously i'm not skipping out on the main course and i have to try some things so let me start with curd rice mm. that's, that's a decent. creamed rice trying the rice and dal a lot of rice i imagine that rice is so pretty smoky. big in it's india also a flavor what would you expect at the place called barbecue nation we need some smoky dal man <laughs> that is so yummy Biryani time. Yum, yum, yum. Not the best biryani I've ever had, but it's decent. The final test, the paneer, is very nice. It has a beautiful milky flavor. Very mild. But the paneer in the starter section is more, it's more creamy. This one's a little bit more chewy, I have to say. Even the main courses are decent, but I do understand why people say the starters are the best. It's just really yummy food. Yum, yum, yum. We got some fresh jalebi being prepared over here. Looks like donuts, maybe. But I am so ignorant of Indian food. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I've had 
Indian food while I was in India, obviously. And then I think I had Indian food once or twice with my mom shortly after returning from my trip from India. Go Gopas or Pani Puris. Whoa, 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 whoa. Next to the regular dessert, they also have Asli coffees at no extra cost. Definitely want some coffee later. Oh, look at that. Whoa. Ice cream or what is that? Yes. Yum. Whatever that was, that was good. Dessert time! Obviously, I got everything. Okay, this is Kasari Ferni. I don't think I've ever tried that. Classic hot gulab jamun with vanilla ice cream, mapua. We got almond buffy here. This is, I don't know, some kind of cake, but this is coconut cake, that I know. Trying the Kasari Ferni. Coconut cake. And I'm cake. super excited because I don't think I've tried that before. What? This tastes like badam milk. So badam milk, if, in case you don't know, it's milk with almonds, but like whole chunks of almonds and so much cardamom. And this is kind of like the pudding version of it. Definitely getting seconds of that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mm, yummy. Trying the Firni Doi. Mm, that's so fresh. It looked like a pudding, so I thought it would be very heavy, very sweet, but actually, I think it's something made with yogurt. Very yummy. Actually, it tastes like frozen yogurt pudding. Frozen yogurt pudding. That would be it. Mm, the classic. Oh, that sounds good. Mini gulab jamun with vanilla ice cream. So in the U.S., we do have frozen yogurt. We also have ice cream, and sometimes you can find gelato. Now in India, I imagine that you guys have ice cream, and then you guys also have frozen yogurt and gelato. Can't ever go wrong with that. And the mopua. Ooh. But this is a different kind of mopua than I tried before. Mm. Not a huge fan of this one. This one tastes more like cake. I'm a fan of the fried mopua, which is kind of like a mini fried pancake and then soaked in mm. sugar syrup. So yummy. Trying the almond barfi. Let me eat with my hands. Sounds good. Mm. It's very soft. I thought it would be like hard and dry, but it's not. It's somebody's birthday. <laughs> Wait, I have to show you this. In the States, we do the same thing. <laughs> Happy birthday song. That's so cute. Oh, I so wouldn't mind celebrating my birthday here. <laughs> That's actually very interesting to know that in India, you can also have the happy birthday song sung to you, at least at this restaurant. Is that a common thing in India? It's really, really, really good. Okay, trying this cake. This is seriously really good quality food. It's very freshly made. Uh, can I have mango coffee? Hello, Hi. I'm Raju Pal. I'm your Pro Executive Chef making all the food for you. Okay. So how was my food today? How was the starter experience and all? It was very good, very good. Very good. Yeah, it was very delicious. It? Sorry? You enjoyed it? Yes, definitely. Thank definitely. you, ma'am. We lot. always want to give you excellent food and excellent service. Yeah. So if you have any other suggestions from your opinion, please yeah. share with me. Chef Raju Pal, always here for you. For Thank you so much. Food. It was very good. Thank you so Thank much. You. The chef seems so polite. Sorry? Uh, no, thank you. Can I have the sprinkles? Yeah. And can I also have the... What is? What are those? No, the other ones. What is the other one? Pan masala. Pan masala. Would that be good? No. <laughs> can I have the chocolate chips then? Again, what is it? What is Thank this you. dessert? It looks good. It is amazing because it's mango season now. If you're going to Barbecue Nation in April or May, that's mango season here in India. 
You need to have everything mango. It's super creamy, yummy, not too sweet. Mm. Mm -mm. The mango popsicle, maybe? So good. I am so stuffed. Make sure to go if you haven't yet because it is also mad value for money. This whole lunch, the veg version, was 629 rupees on a Monday. Nine dollars. That is not bad. When I went to an all-you-can-eat sushi buffet in Japan, they actually charged more for the men to eat than the females. Prices for different days, so make sure to check out their website. I'm almost embarrassed that I could not recognize almost anything that they showed in this video. If you get a chance, go check out Ivana's travel vlog. She has a lot of great content on her channel. And I think I definitely need to go out and try to find some Indian food to try. Because I just had lunch a short time ago and my mouth is watering after looking at that awesome food. So if you got any value from this video, I'd appreciate a like, a subscribe, and maybe check out some of these videos. Thanks for watching.